So, Lou, we've just published our Q3 Goldemont Trends report, uh, and there are some really interesting stories. What's the top line overview you can tell us? Yeah, so the top line for gold demand in Q3 was that it was firmly above its quarterly average that we've seen over the last five years. Um, you know, we've really seen that um, resilience in demand reflected in the high gold price environment. You know, prices have been very elevated over 2023. Um, but in terms of demand, you know, the usual story where there were sort of different things going on in different sectors. Um, looking at jewellery, you know, we know that high gold price environment can be very challenging for jewellery demand. Um, but actually it was pretty resilient in the third quarter. It was only very slightly lower than it had been in Q3 of last year. Um, and India was a key reason for that. Um, you know, very price sensitive consumers were reacting to prices coming down from the, the record levels that we'd seen in Q2. Um, looking at investment, the picture there was mixed. Um, we saw continued and quite large outflows from Western listed uh, ETFs. And that was primarily with investors focused on the, the higher for longer um, story around interest rates. We saw that offset slightly by inflows into Asian listed funds, but those remained really quite small in volume. Um, looking at Q3 for ETFs as a whole, the outflows were quite a bit smaller than we'd seen in Q3 last year. And what can you tell us about the borrowing coin investment side? I mean, that's held up relatively well over recent quarters. Did we see a similar picture in Q3? Yeah, it has. It's been really resilient. We saw um, an improvement from Q2, so a quarterly improvement. Um, but if we look at it compared with Q3 last year, um, it was lower. And again, that's primarily due to weakness in Europe, where again, the high interest rates um, have really played, uh, played a role there. But yes, taking a step back and looking at it on a, on a broader level, bar and coin demand has been really quite resilient. Um, we're sort of above the, the average levels we've been used to over the last five years. And when we look year to date, we are basically in step with where we were this time last year. And uh, one of the big stories of the quarter the whole year, in fact, is central banks. Um, what can you tell us about central bank demand in the third quarter? Yeah, central bank remains a key story um, and their buying in Q3 was the third strongest for any quarter in our data series. Um, and yes, you're right, year to date it's been a big story um, to the extent that they are now at a record 800 tonnes for a Q1 to Q3 period in 2023. Okay, uh, and on the supply side, what's the picture there? So supply, we saw a record quarter for mine production um, in Q3, and that was with growth primarily coming from North America and Asia. Um, looking at the recycling, again, year on year improvement there as well. Not really surprising given the high price environment that we're seeing. Fantastic, that's great. Thank you very much for the insights, Lou. To read the entire report and see all of our data and insight, please visit goldhub.com.